We have indeed, so we found some more of them. So not the ones that were up in the tree with the full moon. This is a different lot of them. And they're just moving around, doing their morning foraging. So they're going through this long golden grass and looking for any insects, grasshoppers, snakes, chameleons, tortoises, and varying other descriptive descriptions of animals that they could feed on. And so it's quite beautiful just to watch them kind of moving around and going about their business. I always love how they use those big eyes to look and sometimes see that they'll sort of tilt their head and then they go down and they peck and it's always a surprise sort of lottery as to what they come up with. Now I see there's a young one that's starting to come out now. There we go, there's two. So there should be three of them on the right side of the road and then there's another one that's about to come across the road now as well. So just on the left hand side, there it comes, which looks like a younger one. I can't see nicely, but it looks like a younger one. There we go. So you can see its red is not nearly as bright as what the others are. So that's probably about a sort of four-year-old individual. And it will reach its sort of fully red face at about sort of five to seven years. So it's still got a bit of growing to do. But it's out of that juvenile phase where they get the yellow throat skin I see there's another one coming. So how many have we got here now? We've got one, two, three, four, five. And then there's three in a tree behind us as well. So there is eight of them, which is really, really nice. Here comes another one. Look at those eyes. Don't they have the most incredible eyes? They've almost got this sort of beady look to them. And you can imagine how well they can see with such a large eye. It's what they rely on mostly. There's a bird that forages through grassland. When you've got big eyes like that, it means that you can spot all the, pre all the prey that you need to find in order to sustain a body like that. They really are incredible birds. And we've been talking about endangered birds and endangered animals, and this is one of the more endangered birds we have. We Siberia Zumi wondering how long the beaks can get. Well, I'm actually not 100% sure. I've never seen a statistic on how long the beak gets, but as we see that adult kind of darting off into the long grass, that's about as long as they get. They don't really get too much longer. Oh, we're on fast forward now. I think it's wanting to catch up to the rest of the flock that is in the long grass that has disappeared behind the tree. But I'm actually not 100% sure. Like I say, I've never seen an, a statistic on it or have sort of heard anything about how long they actually get. Just from judging, from seeing them here, I would say that they probably get to about 40 to 50 centimeters long, which would be, I'm not quite sure what that would be in inches. We'd have to ask Megan in final control to convert that for us. But it would be somewhere around that area, I would imagine. I don't think they would get too much longer than what we've seen on these guys now. So... But I've honestly had clue as to what the actual me measurement that would just be my guess or my or my sort of estimate as to how big they would be.